Good morning guys, this is Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Let's talk about markets. Asia closed higher, US in record territory, and Europe is the only dominant color is green. This optimism which started from the US market went into Asia and from Asia into Europe. But there are other factors which are really moving this European session to, to start to begin with. There's just the news that China is really going to cut tariffs on US import has changed the sentiment altogether. So it is believed that China is going to cut tariff rates into half on US imports. So for instance, if there, is a, uh, if, if, if there are products from, from a US which were supposed to see a tariff of 10%, now we're going to see 5% tariff on that. Similarly for 5% is going to be 2.5%. So this optimism of, really, of uh, decreasing the tariffs or trade tensions depriving is really moving the European markets to the higher. In fact, the stock 600, again, once again, it touched that record level over in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the European markets. Secondly, I think it's the earning numbers which are coming from European markets, such as from Metal Steel, which has seen you know, deprived period, prolonged deprived period of earnings, reported a very strong number, along with several other corporates. That is, again, boosting this optimism in the European markets. In fact, it is quite important for us to focus uh, on, the, on, on the economic numbers over in Europe because we had very feeble economic numbers I mean, from, from Germany. The German factory data came in at minus 2.1% when the forecast was for 0.6% positive 0.6%. But investors are literally brushing those concerns away and they are just thinking about coronavirus and they, they're saying that this is not going to impact the, the, the markets today. Why? Because there is an optimism about this uh, vaccine which has been discovered and they believe that the, the impact of coronavirus is not going to be detrimental. However, I do not hold that view. I think investors are just getting to ahead of themselves because the impact is going to be very detrimental on the Chinese economy. And in, in the upcoming number, uh, we, uh, the data in the coming weeks, we are going to see that impact. So buying the dip may not be the best strategy for, you know, for passive investors. But for active investors, of course, this is the best strategy right now looking what the circumstances are because the S&P 500 came within a viscous distance of that 50-day uh, moving average on a daily time frame. Remember, we discussed this in our daily video a few days back, that the, the bull signal is there because the price is right within that 50-day moving average. And then it bounced back up. Now, the S&P 500 index sits at a record high. Now, moving into our commodity markets, Yesterday, we made this technical analysis video and we discussed that how the RSI is giving us oversold signal on a daily time frame. And we talked about that it is highly likely for speculators to jump back into the market and take advantage of this current oversold price action. And this is what we're seeing in the markets today because the price has bounced back up, crude prices are up nearly 2.12%. And the price is back above that 50 mark. In fact, it is sitting at $51 plus. Now, remember, OPEC started had initiated this meeting to in order to curtail the supply because they knew that the demand is going to have this detrimental impact from coronavirus. The meeting got extended into today because Saudi Arabia failed to stronger arm Russia. And that they failed, and the Russia said, "I'm not going to cave into your demands to cut the cut the supply because they are comfortable where the prices are and where the supply is and what the demand entails." But nonetheless, the meeting has been extended into another day, and that means some important market-moving news could be coming out from this particular meeting. Uh, from meeting. Hence, it is important and imperative and significant for traders to keep an eye on that meeting because it will move the oil market.
if there is any significant change in the supply. That's all for today. Happy trading. I'll speak to you tomorrow.